first day of spring wasn't nice. It was not, I think it was more gloomy outside. And Hey fam, Sarah here. Welcome back to our channel. So today's video is gonna be kind of one of those videos where I try to get it all done. I'm gonna be cooking, cleaning, basically doing a lot of food prepping for my family. Um, if you're unfamiliar, I'm a large family mom of five and I'm also a homeschooling mom as well. So you'll get to see a little bit of that here and there as we um, just kind of homeschool throughout one of the days, I don't know, one day in the week. Anyways, as you guys can see, it is a week weekend day here, and we're just starting off with some simple banana pancakes. I didn't show you how I prep this because I've showed this a few times in my video. This is just what we do when the bananas are just beyond edible, and just when the kids kind of ask for banana pancakes. So doing something very simple. I can't have these. I try my best not to eat these. If I'm gonna do it, I will substitute the flour and the banana pancakes for with oats and blend it out in my Blendtec. I didn't opt to have this breakfast for this morning. I think I just had, um, I don't know, maybe just oatmeal with some fruits on top. Something very simple because I am on a healthy journey. I feel like I'm forever saying that, but it's, it's a real thing. I'm on this journey and it's a lifelong battle. So the next day I wanted to make us a healthy lunch and so I proceeded to use up some Brussels sprouts that we had in the fridge. You guys, am I the only one? Like I really just despise when vegetables go bad because they really are so expensive. The past um, week before I threw out some, a whole thing of, what do you call of lettuce that just went bad and oh it's it just irks my nerves so anyways i just wanted to use this up real quick the one thing though i hate with brussels sprouts is just the, pre the preparation for them having to remove every single leaf of the top and chopping them up and because i'm pretty sure they're considered one of the dirty vegetables i mean everything is just not good for you these days apparently so it is what it is we're eating some brussels sprouts and the family loves them so that's what we prepared for our lunch and i didn't show you what we ate it with for some odd reason so i I apologize for that i also went on to wash these dirty makeup brushes of mine that have been sitting on the side of my counter y'all these brushes have been sitting there for a hot minute i came by this video that showed this girl and her face totally broke out into like i can't even describe what it looked like and it just it just went straight to the, to the gut i'm like i need to wash these brushes however i have so many brushes that i ended up just putting them on my counter and leaving them to sit there in the corner for a good two weeks and yep here we are so thank god i'm finally washing them and i i'm just happy that i will have some clean brushes because it will be terrible for one's face to break out just because brushes are dirty and another thing guys i keep forgetting to put on an, an apron when i come in the kitchen i don't know why it's in an arm's reach it's right there by my fridge and i don't do it it's just a really bad habit that i need to get out of i find that if i just come down in my pjs i will just like jump into like mo work mode and not you know be conscious of it until i run back up and change anyways this is the evening i'm currently prepping some ground turkey that I had because hubby's about to go away on a week uh, for a week on a for his work trip and I just want to have stuff prepared I want to ensure that we have some simple meals that we can just throw in the girl the kids and I and so I prepared what we had in the fridge and the freezer and yeah that was actually really really good we used it for tacos we used it for burritos we used it for just on rice um we didn't actually eat it all throughout that time frame we actually used it over a span of two weeks so it came in really handy i wrote the date on there but it wasn't necessary because we were going to use it in a timely manner and we actually did we also had some things to return at the store. I had bought some things for the kids and I just didn't like the size and the way it fit. So I took a real quick trip to Old Navy and I was just kind of glimpsing around. Honestly, I did not see anything in there for myself, but my daughter tagged along with me. And of course, she's a shopaholic. She'll find out all the things. Um, she kept looking at things for her siblings because she really enjoys shopping for them. But I basically talked her out of like, let's say 90% of what she had in her hand because truth be told a lot of them were not like 
I mean, spring was approaching and I didn't want any more things for winter. I didn't think that the kids needed any, a whole lot of any of that, that stuff. But she did get the shirt and she did get the one that said Juice Box no, Kids. No, it's a snowstorm. A snowstorm snow again? Day. It's a, yeah, it's a snow day. Kind of, not really. Get the dice. Go, go get the dice. How many did you roll? How many? Mm-hmm. Two, three, four. Very good. How many did you six, roll? Seven. Three. Three, good job. Okay. okay, roll again. Whoa, whoa. You got a three, and Zoe got a... a two. Two, okay. Now let's add them together. What is three plus two, Zoe? One, two, yep. five. Did you get the answer? What's the answer? Five. Five. Good job. <laughs> okay, we'll do one so you can do it next year. Let's. Awesome. You and mommy roll, Zoe. No, I didn't do it. It's okay. You and I roll. Quick. You roll your, that one. No. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe we should. Okay, you grab this one, Zavi, and I'll. I'll grab this one. This is the one I tell them not to roll too much because it is. It is um a harder mm. one, a harder foam, but I'm gonna do it so we can yeah, all. Oh wow. Oh. There. I, oh, don't move yours. Okay, let's roll them and not move them. Okay, roll. Four. Don't touch, Zavi. Good job. Oh, one. Okay, let's pull it out. I won't okay. change the number on it. Oh, it's a one. Okay, don't touch. Don't touch. We have a... How, many, how much is this, Zavi? One, two, three, four. Very good. And we have plus... One. Mm -hmm. And then how much is this, Zavi? One, two, three, four. Five, six. Yep, yeah, very good. Okay, Zoe. Zoe, now you figure out what's the total. What is the total of four plus one plus six? We Can I count? Plus yep. one. One, two, well, three. Well, you remember? Four. Hold on. You already know how much this is, remember? What? What is that one? No, six. Four. So you can kind of just plus start seven. there. But so you can just be six for one, that one because you already know it. Yep. Four, seven. One, mm -hmm. eight. 9, 10, 11. 11! Very Ele good. What if, Mom, what if we rolled these? 6 plus 6 plus 6. Oh, wow. That would be a very Lucky cool three, roll. Five. We should try it. <laughs> She's excited. She wants to see the birds. That, that's, you're not going out. You just want to chase birds. She just wants to chase the birds. I know. You, you, just, you gotta leave them alone. She's, <laughs> she's like, squirrel, birds. Tessie, you gotta leave the birds alone. Oh, the sun's coming back out. Ooh. Oh, lovely. But it still looks snowy. Huh? But it still looks snowy. So it still looks snowy? He's one of one and get the birds. Oh, he wa she wants them. she wants to run she wants to get the birds and eat them? Yeah. Oh no, I hope not. I hope not, Das. I hope not. Okay, Mom. Mom, two of the same style. That's okay, they, look, they, who's, they. look who's coming out to try to come and greet the dog. Yes, guys, our rabbit and our dog actually get along, which is so strange. <laughs> so strange. Ollie is always coming out to meet Dusty. birthdays because um, and birthday is an indicator that a year a year has passed by and you're a year older it's an indicator that a whole year has gone by and you're a year older you're not six anymore you'll be seven when your next birthday comes around 
Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. As you can see, we're also kind of chilling a little bit in our pajamas today. It's just one of those days. It's the first day of spring actually came. I just realized that. That was yesterday. But it snowed, and so it just doesn't even feel like spring. I kind of wish the day was really nice. But the first day of spring wasn't nice. It was not... I think it was more gloomy outside and it snowed and the same thing is happening today So it does not feel like spring yet though. There are a lot of birds chirping outside. It feels like winter is still here and um, Yeah, so it's like one of those cozy days that we decided to just kind of stay in our PJs um, And we're just kind of going through we're actually we're not staying in our PJs all day We're gonna just we're just wrapping up our work in our PJs and then we're gonna go and change and stuff like that It's a little backwards because usually you know, usually we want to do the reverse, you know, it's good to teach the routines and the discipline, but we're not rigid. Sometimes you can change it up and it's okay. And that's the beauty of homeschooling too, is that you can, it's all right. It's not the end of the world. Anyways, let's proceed with this. So what does it say? It says take the blue clocks, blue clocks from the math box. Yep. Put the clocks in order from the easiest time. Oh no, from the earliest time. Mm -mm to the latest time, assuming all the times are in the morning. Seven? Yes. Okay. It's 7.30. Very good. You shouldn't close your eyes. You need to look at the actual clock. <laughs> it's not a guessing game. Okay. It's, it's 2 o'clock. Very good. I'm like a fortune teller who's two. no time. You are a four. Girl. We are not practicing okay. that over here. Four o'clock. Let me see. Yep, very good. Nine o'clock. Yep. It's three. It's three. Let me see. It, it's three thirty. Mm, good job. One of the things that I think is so cool that she's mastered is just understanding that when the when the shorthand is below the number it's still technically pointing at it though it's moving away because obviously it's approaching the next hour which is going to be four o'clock but it's not quite there so that was one of the things she i don't know i thought it was going to be super tricky to master but i thought you, you mastered it quite well zoe like i don't understand how she picked up the clock learning these clocks so easy i think it's just because it's kind of fun because it's like dealing with class it's not just like learning it in a book but she really she really um like that okay so we just lined up all the clocks in order from earliest time meaning starting at like two o'clock a.m in the morning all the way until 11 30. you guys so it is 11 56 exactly i've been waiting and trying to fast and it is i'm kind of new into it again i done it in the past and i fell off the wagon but i'm doing it again today is one of those days where i've been i was feeling really really hungry because it's kind of like day three so i think it's a stage where you still kind of feel it and it's i find it to be challenging because last night i meal prepped myself some overnight oats and i find it to be so much more challenging today just knowing that the food is ready and it's sitting there usually when I have to prep it, it's not, I don't feel as hungry <laughs> or maybe I do, but it's just because it's, it's not there. I don't have this immediate, oh my gosh, but I know that it's there and the impulsiveness of wanting to just go to the fridge, fridge and get it is there, but oh my gosh, thank goodness I had to homeschool and um, yeah, that just kind of held me over because I had things that I was doing, keeping my mind off of going to eat while... I had to homeschool my kids so we're not done homeschooling yet we actually have some more work to do we're doing our math we're doing our math right now that's usually the like one you know super super important for me uh, so the math and then we're gonna do some and she's already done her writing and she's gonna be doing a little bit of literature because we did do some yesterday so if honestly we did do some yesterday we did uh, quite a bit yesterday so we don't have to today Sometimes I do that, I double up so we can have like a bit of a free day. So yeah, but we're gonna be doing it nonetheless. Because of the weather, we decided that we we're gonna be watching a movie as well. We'll see how that goes, but I'm really hungry. So I have my little stash in here. I went ahead and made a whole bunch of oats. I made a few different kinds, I made a lot of them with oh is this the apple one actually i would prefer the blueberry one i think this is the apple one i'm gonna leave the apple one till tomorrow 
yeah this is the blueberry one so what i did was i put over i put oats i put milk and to be fair i kind of ran out of my milk i do use oat milk but i kind of ran out so i had to use some of the regular milk which is crazy because i haven't i don't really drink a lot of regular milk but i don't think it's gonna hurt because i mean i also will have a little ice cream here and there or some i know other dairy related things so mm, big whoop right? i put a little bit of yogurt i put um what else? Oh, I wanted chia seeds and I didn't have it, so I ordered it from Amazon, expecting my package to be here by now and it still has yet to arrive. So, yay me! <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and eat that because it's getting mighty late and your girl is hungry at this point. This is what it's looking like. And I did go ahead and try to chop up my, um, I chopped up the pieces to my blueberries in hopes that it would kind of help infuse the oats with some of that flavor. And I'm excited for this. Ooh, Hold you, fold it properly. Remember, fold it properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And the next one, do B. No, what? It looks like a white. Good job. Oh, we go from top to bottom, buddy. Oh.